This skill sheet will be under Fire Department Communications and specifically standard 6-2.2 with the task being operate communication equipment to request team assistance. Performance outcome, while operating as a team leader, the candidate following standard procedures shall be able to provide situational reports and communicate the need for team assistance so that the team assigns are performed safely. So those assignments are going to be performed safely on the conditions. Um, given radio equipment, standard procedures, a team, and a scenario, the candidate should demonstrate the ability to, number one, identify and operate the basic features of the selected radio equipment. Two, operate radio equipment in, coordinates, uh, in accordance with standard operating procedures. Three, transmit the situation reports that accurately communicate the conditions in the team's situational status. Four, identify the conditions that warrant the need for additional personnel. Five, identify conditions that warrant the need for replacement personnel. And six, effectively communicate a request for team assistance within an incident management system. So you're going to be given that scenario, you're going to be given the radio communications, and you're going to follow the guidelines that your department uses or standard guidelines that should be considered universal if you had a joint response um, into mutual aid or automatic aid areas. But you're going to have to identify and operate the basic features of the selected radio equipment. So you're going to have to have some understanding of that portable or that base station or mobile radio. Um, you're going to have to operate the radio equipment in accordance with standard operating procedures. So you're going to want to make sure how you speak, who you speak to first versus how they operate back to you. Clear, concise communications, anything that we would want via mobile or portable radios um, so that it paints that picture but doesn't hog up precious air time but is that fine line between too much information and not enough information. You're going to transmit, transmit the situation reports that accurately communicate conditions and the team's situational status. So you're going to have to update or be asked for an update status and then let the incident manager know what is going on and paint that clear picture within the, the time frames that you're allowed or that airwave time that you are allowed. So we can't have a lot of uh, needless communication. It has to be clear and concise and down to the, the point that needs to be made to um, relay the information status of your team's, the conditions that you're facing or your team status. Identify the conditions that weren't need for additional personnel. So you're going to have to tell them when you would need or what those needs would be that would require you to ask for additional folks. And identify the conditions that warrant the need for replacement personnel. So whether you're low on air and you're going to have to replace your crews, go to rehab, situations where you're going to need more folks, you're going to have to be able to answer those questions or identify those needs based on the scenario that you were given. And then effectively communicate a request for team assistance within the an incident management system. So you're going to have to contact command, let them know what you're going to need, let them know what you're having to do, let them have uh, an update on those conditions that you're facing, and then get that information relayed to them, make sure that it was understood by them, make sure that they were able to, to get that back to you properly, or communicate to you effectively so that um, you know what you are asking to happen is indeed going to end up happening or why it can't happen, um, and then make sure that everything was verbalized for that request for assistance or request for replacement. So you've got to know what the standard operating procedures are for your personnel or what you're going to be doing, how to communicate that effectively, and relay that out to command so that whether replacement or additional personnel can be gotten to your location and taken over for you or assist you in whatever you're trying to accomplish within the scenario. Verbalize that stuff clearly to the evaluator so that they understand what you're doing, what you're asking for, and why you're asking for it, and make sure that it was clear and concise um, and fit in the, the uh, standard operating procedures of radio communications.